Okay, here we are in Coeur d'Alene, Idaho at Tour Coeur d'Alene. Operated by Gary and Linda Cooper. And they have e-bikes and Segway tours. So we're gonna go on one today and we'll take you along. Um, you'll get a briefing before you head out and um, a little instruction on the Segway and they have a little course here. And there's Gary. Um, I won't be able to film while we're riding, um, but they have things to accommodate families. They have e-bikes you could rent. And these are the segways. Okay, if you have trouble finding uh, Tour Coeur d'Alene, just look for Jimmy's Down the Street Restaurant and they're located just off the alley in the back. And there we have our safety gear. You have a receiver for listening to the tour. Helmet and vest. No flip-flops. All right, Sabrina, aim for me and stop. Good job. Here we are in the city park. We wore masks not for COVID, but for clouds of recently hatched gnats, which were irritating. Just hiding in the antlers and never went and hid anywhere. So the whole kid's storybook is about Mudgy trekking around through Coeur d'Alene looking for Millie when Millie is there the entire time. So on each one of these moose statues, the mouse is hiding in a different location. On this one, it's the upper right. So for the really young kids, it's fun for them to figure out where that little mouse is hiding. And for us adults, we can just... Life in the line of duty in Coeur d'Alene. That happened just six years ago on Cinco de Mayo morning of 2015. At 1.30 in the morning, Officer Moore was patrolling one of the residential neighborhoods where cars were getting broken into the night. Have you had a chance to do that yet? We'll demonstrate that out to the definition of the year. Including the 50s and 60s. Well, by 1970, it was dark again, dilapidated, run down, and there was an element in the community that just wanted it out of here. It's now placed on a National Historical Registry, and it's in its original location, so that tells us back in the time period, this was a dirt road right here, and if you look at the, old, the oldest one being 25 miles east of us, we have the town of Cataldo, and they have a one-room...